Andaman and Nicobar Islands have been major attractions for birdwatcher and ornithologists because of its rich, unique and endemic biodiversity. These islands are home to India's highest number of endemic birds. The unique ecosystem of these islands makes it a paradise for birds. The journey to explore these endemic birds is quite amazing and breathtaking. Narkandam hornbill is a small hornbill with a black body, a white tail, and a strong pale bill with a flat, grooved cask on top. The male has a rust-colored head and breast, while the female's head and breast are black. It found only on Narkandam Island. The diet of these Narkandam hornbill species is mostly fruits. Wild fruits, berries, figs, invertebrates and small reptiles are their primary food. The breeding season of these Narkandam hornbill species is from February to April. The nesting sites are located in mature, undisturbed forests with large trees. Andaman woodpecker is a large, unmistakable black woodpecker with a red crest. Note the long, dark bill and strikingly pale eyes. It found in mangroves and evergreen forests, where it occurs in pairs or small parties. Little is recorded about the behavior of the Andaman woodpecker. It lives in pairs but also associates in small flocks. It forages on large trunks and branches, but has also been recorded foraging on the ground for ants. It has been recorded breeding between January and March, and breeds in a nest hole off the forest floor, in a dead tree. This is an endemic to the Andaman Islands, where it is found in the rainforests of the lowlands. The species is threatened by the loss of habitat, as the human population of the Andaman Islands increases and clears forests for agriculture. White-headed starling is a distinctive starling with white head, white breast, and grey back. Note the yellow legs and pale bill. The vent, outer tail feathers, and lower back are grayish-white on birds in the Andamans and reddish-brown on birds in the Nicobars. It is an active species that usually occurs in flocks with other starlings and insectivores in plantations, paddy fields, open woodlands, and forest edges. Hume's hawk owl is a medium-sized, dark brown owl with distinctive yellow eyes. Note the small white spot between the eyes. Lower belly may often be paler and show some barring. It only active outside of daylight hours. Quite common throughout its range in plantations, 
forest edges, and groves. The diet of this hawk owl consists mainly of large insects. Invertebrates like large insects and also amphibians, lizards, small birds and small mammals are their primary food. This species are highly nocturnal. Andaman teal is a more brown duck with a pale throat and scalloped plumage. The face is sometimes all white, but always has a white eye ring. In flight, there is a white panel on the upper wing and white armpits on the underwing. These teal species inhabit inland water bodies like freshwater streams, ponds and paddy fields as well as mangroves, lagoons, brackish swamps, tidal creeks, estuaries and sea. During the day these teal species roost on exposed rocks and mudflats. They were found feeding in rice fields in the night in small groups of 30 to 40 birds. Their feed is probably mollusks and insects.